Hello friends, uh, welcome back. We shall today see how to create a graphical user interface and use that interface to connect to MySQL. If you recall in our previous video, I have shown you how to connect to MySQL and fetch the data and display it on the console. So today's uh, session will be quite interesting. I am sure all of you will enjoy going through this. If you like the video at the end of the session, please click on the bell icon and click on the like symbol. So let's begin. Let's launch uh, NetBeans. So once your NetBeans is on, you have to start a new project. Again, choose Maven project. Go to next, give some name. Let's call it as uh, shopping cart app one. So in the shopping cart app, go to the source packages folder and you will see one empty class coming up with main method. You can clean up few things before you start. So here I am going to write my code to launch the GUI and to design the GUI all that you have to do is go to this uh, package click right click and go to J frame and you create a frame here. So let me call it as my frame. You are free to give any name. So as you can see this is uh, the canvas or the place where you place your controls. Let me enlarge this. So normally it is uh, a good practice to put all your controls in a panel. So let me drag and drop this panel here. So the panel is a container which can contain other controls. So here uh, this is the place onto which you will be placing other controls like labels, buttons and text boxes. So let me drag and drop one label here. So label font you can set to a familiar font like Arial, bold, let's say 18. If you wish you could change the color of this. So let me choose uh, some color here and if you double click it will allow you to edit it. So let's call it as fraud ID. So this is a label indicating that whatever is displayed on the text field will be fraud ID. Likewise, next I want to display fraud name. Enlarge the container so that you have more space to place the controls. So you have to rearrange these things a little bit so that I can place a button here. So I want to place a button here. Let me call it as, let's keep it here. And you can choose an appropriate color here. You can use uh, some uh, color that interests you. So if you want, you can edit this uh, text by going to the text property, you say show my data. Okay. And uh, this uh, panel or the panel that you have as you can move, you can set the border properties of this so J panel. If you see the product here, you can choose uh, title border and you can give a title as product details. Here also you can set the color of this. You can choose the font. Let's uniformly put everything as bold Arial. Okay. So now that we have a nice uh, GUI here in place, but uh, to display the data we explained here, you can enlarge a little bit 
and if you go to the properties of the text field you will see that there is a text property which you can keep it blank okay so just like the labels you can change the font of this again arial bold 18 then the color of this so you can put some interesting color here so you'll have little difficulty in uh, rearranging these things so as you can see now the entire uh, gui is ready i haven't written a single line of code and that is the beauty of uh, the swing utilities where you can create the GUI and subsequently write code to get the required output. So let me now uh, add little code to my shopping cart so that I can launch my GUI. So to and you have to use a runnable interface to generate the uh, a new thread into which the graphical user interface will work. So here you have to say new runnable and within the runnable interface you have to override the run method. So you will see a lot of uh, red marks everywhere until you write that interface. So you will see I think so runnable you have to put a bracket there. Yeah. So as you can see the swing utilities allows you to create a new thread uh, and within this thread we have to create an instance of my frame and run it. So to do that you have to create a variable of jframe call it as my frame equal to new my frame. Now the code is little confusing here yeah so let's uh, import the swing package yeah now my frame with uh, my in small letters is a variable name whereas my frame is a my frame class that is generated when you created the graphical user interface as you can see if you go to the source here and scroll little bit up you will see that you have created my frame by extending j frame so this is like uh, a user defined class which is extending the swing j frame and i have to create an instance of this and launch it from the driver application driver application is nothing but a class which contains main method now i have created an instance of my frame now i can use set visible property of uh, j frame set visible and you have to make it true so by default it will be true okay so this is all that is needed to get you going so if you launch you will see that quickly you will get the graphical user interface hope everything will go right here and yeah, that's it so you will see that we have a graphical user nice graphical user interface that we designed earlier so now looking at this uh, if you want any rearrangement of these uh, text boxes and all you can do that by going back to your my jframe design tab and little bit of rearrangement if you want to do so that the space is uniform everywhere and this show button which was here can be slightly kept here and you can slightly make room, more room for your design so that you are comfortable using so this is your form control which you can slightly enlarge both vertically as well as horizontally and this j panel you can place it wherever you want so appropriately if you want slightly larger size of this you can do that and move this button a little bit down okay so now if you run you will see a much better graphical user interface than the earlier one yeah okay
and the size of this uh, will depend on uh, the size that you set here so if you go back uh, this j frame this j panel is beautiful so we have a graphical user interface available now if you see this uh, window doesn't have a title if you wanted to set you have to select the j frame it is showing j frame properties slightly enlarged okay, so th that doesn't show up here but when you run you will see that coming up now before we move on to uh, the coding to connect to database and fetch the data and display here let's do one more thing that these text fields if you see they are by default name that text field one two three five like that so this is slightly inconvenient for you to reference them if you want to reference them with your own variable names go to the code tab here as you can see there is a variable name so let's call it as prod id variable name prod id this one i want prod name quantity so you have named them so that while you are coding it will be lot easier for you to reference now before we move on go to the click event of this show my data which will automatically open up uh, for example we have prod id as one of the variable so if you say set text uh, let us say prod id is p100 or p1000 whatever it is now on click of my button it will show up this uh, prod id as p1000 so let's see whether that is happening so if i click here you will see p100 now this is coming statically from the code that i wrote now it should come from the database so let's see how to do that so to connect to database uh, we need to have one more class let's call it as my db connector you can give any name yeah so this comes up with uh, class definition now within this we need to define the the variables of the mysql connector uh, namely the connection variable then statement variable and one result set variable okay. if you say art enter it is taking from sql connection this it is going to from now be careful to select the second one here and here it is from the result set okay and uh, in the constructor of uh, this mydb connect we'll insert one constructor here uh, it's a default constructor within this we have to initialize many things that is you have to establish a connection uh, then uh, create an empty statement and fetch data by executing the query and put it into record set so to do that uh, we need to add a driver to our application so we need to go back to pom.xml here so you need to have the mysql driver so you have to define the dependencies here dependencies yeah opening closing bracket within this we should have the mysql dependency defined so to do and type mysql click on this click on the version and if you scroll down a little bit you will see the maven dependency description so it is copied automatically when you click on to the window there come back to pom.xml and just copy it okay and when you build the project automatically the driver will be available here so if i say uh, run once again uh, it will not do anything because we do not have any code here 
but what it does is uh, in the dependencies file the mysql connector has come so that the connector is now part of the application so that i can use all these things here so the first thing that you do is uh, you have to load the driver so you have to put that into a try catch block and the exception is uh, either you can put a general exception or you want to be very specific you can say catch class not found yeah. now here what you have to do is first thing is you have to register the driver with the application for this you have to use uh, the for name method of class and here you specify the the driver details remember you can go to any website and copy paste so this will ensure that the mysql driver is registered with the application and we can start using uh, its method so the first thing that you do is create a connection so connection equal to so there is a driver manager class as i mentioned in my previous video which will help you to create a connection so as you can see get connection is the method you have to use and you have to specify the url procedure to create one connection once the connection is done you have to create an empty statement using that connection so connection create statement so this will create an empty statement and once the statement is ready you are now ready to execute an sql statement so you say rs equal to statement dot execute query select star from products so as you can see we uh, we have all the records of the products table into rs now i don't want to display this uh, here general exception is okay so if you wanted to display the error message here so we we'll just say e dot to string so you come to know whether the driver is available or not what went wrong if something if the driver doesn't load properly so this uh, has to be taken care now this uh, your result set is ready now i want this result set to be accessible in my um, gui application for this what you have to do is you have to write a getter here insert code and say getter i want getter for only the result set just this you can see it has added a getter by name get rs it will return the rs object that is created okay so now you have to go back to your gui application and go to the code part of it so here you have to create one instance of uh, my db connector so you have to say my db connector my connector equal to new my db connector so this will create one instance of that class and uh, it will call the constructor of this and automatically the connection will be established with the mysql database right now if you want uh, the results to be held here we can create a result set object here also equal to you can just declare it like this uh, or else you can initialize right here or you declare it here and in the constructor of the j frame my j frame you can say rs equal to my connection dot get rs so i'm going to call the getter to get the connection to rs so now rs will will be holding a pointer to that object and if you go back to the design in the click event of the show button the rs object will be accessible so when rs will be pointing to null initially you have to use move next not move next just say next so this will point to the first record in your uh, 
is showing some error so yeah it has to be in the try catch block so we can surround with try catch automatically it will put that try catch block you don't have to worry about other things now uh, if you remember we have given prod id uh, name to our text field so we just say set text here okay and uh, you have to access the first field here rs dot get get string if i'm not correct yeah get string and you have to indicate uh, what is a column label so you can put it as uh, your product id if you do not remember the column name you can just put one okay now access denied for user root at so i think so we gave a wrong username go to db connector we give the username as root not instead of root okay so obviously all others uh, will be in trouble so let's see how this pans out and if i say show now that this 100 is coming from my product id okay so let's uh, go back and uh, try to show more of these things and try to show it will show the data okay so there are some misplacements uh, product name is shown correctly yeah product details it is not showing instead it is showing something else product price is misplaced so yeah, now looks good. Product ID, product name, product description, product price and quantity. Now if I can scroll down, click on show, it is showing all the details of the product. So as you can see, we have a nice graphical user interface here and we could successfully connect it to MySQL and got all the data elements. Uh, hope uh, you all got the logic as to how the things are connected to one another so there is a driver application with main which will launch the graphical user interface uh, jframe and in the jframe we have to go to the design tab to design the gui and uh, in the click event of uh, the button you have to write the code to you know fetch the data from the record set and display it one after the other and to make connection to the database you should have one more class wherein you load the driver create a statement and execute a query and whatever is in the result set is uh, made available through a getter so that this jframe application in its uh, constructor can initialize rs2 the record set value and in the click event of uh, the button that is go to the design tab here so the same rs will come here and before you display anything you must position your uh, pointer to the beginning of the record set so you have to execute dot next and then display all these things okay so hope the uh, idea of connecting to mysql and building a gui to display that data uh, with one record at a time is interesting to all of you and in the in my next lecture i'm going to explain to you how to design a gui where the entire data in a record set is displayed in a table of form so hope you all enjoy uh, presentation here and if you are able to generate such a nice interface, I shall be more happy. You please go back and practice and see that you build such a wonderful graphical user interface for your MySQL database. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.